there's quite a battle going on for that 25th spot. I think those guys up the top of the leaderboard, they know kind of where they're at, but this, this fight for 25th on this body of water could be pretty darn interesting. Currently occupied in 25th, 24th and 25th, Aaron Teal and Steve Sandberg. Now closely behind them, there's a whole lot of bubble anglers that are trying to get into, the, into that top 25. They include Tony Hatton, Brian Bengston, Mike Ulick, all on the outside looking in. And then there's that group that is obviously going to be swinging for the fence, not only for the win, but for that chance to get into that top 25. And they include Tommy Parker, Charlie Wright, John Vig, and Adam Rasmussen. So, Aaron Teal, how do you feel about Pelican Lake? I, I like it. I really like the lake so far. It's uh, You can kind of do a lot of different stuff, fish your strengths, depending on what they are, and uh, there's a ton of bass in here. Been pretty pretty fun to fish so far. A little treacherous, uh, learning, navigating around, but uh, it's a pretty special place, and I'm really excited to get out there. I like the lake. It produces big fish, big bites. Um, I know the lake's down really low right now, so it make, you know makes some challenges for for us as fishermen. But at the same time, you know you have to be versatile. You have to dial things in over time and practice. And o overall, I, I enjoy the lake. I'll probably be back here definitely in my future. First couple of days of practice were a little rough. It's gotten a little bit better day by day. Today the fish didn't really bite. Uh, the little bit I was out, so uh, it's kind of been a day by day thing. Oh, this is a, it's a great lake, um, it, and the really unique, cool thing about it is there's never really been a tournament here, so it's new to everybody, so uh, that's very unusual these days, so it'll be fun to see uh, how people catch them and uh, what the results are. Great town, uh, great people, the lake's fantastic, um, I think it's going to fish really good tomorrow. Um, I might not do very good, but someone will. What do you think it's going to take to make the top ten? Ooh, that's a tough call. That's like the biggest question of all time right now, <laughs> especially this week. I think you're going to see some some really big bags, and I think tomorrow is really going to show us how many you know bass are in here. And somebody could get on them and absolutely smash them and catch 150, but it, it, it it's hard to say. I think you'll have 110 pounds to win, and I think 40 pounds to cash a check. I mean, I think it'll probably take over 100 pounds to win. Uh, to win it, I think it's going to be 125 plus. I, I think I'm on the low side on that, to be honest. I'm not sure I buy the, the whole weight situation of what people are saying is going to take to win, but I don't think Dan was too far off in the 150 range possibly to win. Uh, but I do think that the top 10 guys are going to be a little bit higher probably in that 60 pound range to make the top 10. Uh, you've got 50 of just the best guys uh, putting a hammer on them, so it, it's, it's going to take north of 100. To get a top 10? I don't know. I don't know. North of 100 to win? For sure. All right, okay, leg split. We've decided we're not going to have a lake split tomorrow. The lake is wide open. You may go wherever you want, whenever you want. But you will leave in order in the morning, and then at lunch, the numbers are reversed. Yeah, no, being one spot out, uh, the top 25 advance, being in 26th position, um, kind of being that bubble boy. Uh, I gotta catch them tomorrow. I need a top 10 finish. I'm, I've been bubble boy the last two years and everything. Last year I got pushed out of champ championship by one point. So, you know, I'm here to do a top 10. This format's been an adjustment and uh, I've kept on getting better each tournament, which is always my goal. Uh, I'm not really that concerned about that. I'm just concerned about trying to do well on this particular lake and um, that, that's, that's what I care about at this point. Um, if I go to Mille Lacs, great. It'd be a big event, be fun to be part of. Well, yeah, I want to be at Mille Lacs for sure. I like that lake and I like running around there. I feel good going into this one, hoping to kind of lock that championship spot in. And uh, it's a humbling sport, so just try and go out there and, and do the best we can. I feel pretty good about it. I feel good that I can get in that area where I need to be to, to make it and get a shot out at Mille Lacs. I feel positive that I, I can make championship.
I didn't come here for second place, son. Good morning, everybody. It's Scott Bonham with the Champions Tour. Welcome to Lake Pelican. We are in Orr, Minnesota, on truly one of Minnesota's finest hidden treasures in the state. Probably one of the best bass fisheries around. Loaded with largemouth, loaded with smallmouth, and they're giant fish. We're gonna see some big weights today. We're gonna see some big fish catches. There's a new vibe in the air. The guys are not only fighting to win $12,000 first place cash today, but they're also in line to win an opportunity to be in the top 25 to go to the championship coming up in a week to win a brand new Skeeter Yamaha package. This is an exciting event. Please stay tuned. Champions Tour, Pelican Lake, or Minnesota. It's tournament morning, Pelican Lake. We're easing out right now and uh, we had some cold weather. I don't know if I'm gonna catch them or not, or not but uh, it's gonna get weird out here for somebody today and somebody's gonna absolutely smash them. So I just hope it's us. It's a good one. It's a big one. They all feel big though. All right, I'm gonna come right here. No, it's not that big. Didn't even hit the bottom. Good start. Picture. Catch them, weigh them, picture them, initial, release. All right, 213, you got the initial thing? Ooh, bud, we're gonna have fun. Adam, we're gonna have so much fun today. We're gonna have so much fun today. Oh, I'm excited. Fish. It's gonna be a good one. Here we go. Oh, that's what you call Pelican Lake Bass right there, folks. Good one. That gets the blood pumping. Four three. Four four. Four four? Four three. Bag in. Bag in. is just on fire for Adam Rasmussen this morning. It's only 8.40, he's been fishing for an hour and 40 minutes. But right now, as we try to get the cameraman in there, the app is showing, the real live well showing he's got 71 pounds, 15 ounces. He just said he's got about 10 fish that haven't uploaded yet. We're filling that baby up this morning. Uh, but Adam right now is on track to break the all-time record of the Champions Tour, and he could possibly do it in the first half. It's 8.45, I didn't start fishing until probably, oh, it was almost quarter after seven. I think, what do we got, bud? 37 or 38 bass? 36? It's been pretty good. Um, 
I spent my whole week driving, using my hummingbird side imaging and finding rocks. This whole lake is full of weeds and uh, just trying to find rocks that are in the weeds where I figured some fish would school up and you see a lot of guys on the bank and I found five in probably 40 hours of idling. And I'm on my second one right now. You can see on my 360, this whole thing's weeds. It's a rock pile right there. So obviously I find them and I use my 360 to know exactly where I have to cast. I just saw the rock on the 360, threw my bait on top of the rock, got thunked. It's awesome. Two six. Picture, picture. We gotta slow down. It's hard when they're biting, you just wanna get back out there, but we gotta take a picture sign our sheet and then we can cast again. So we're two hours and 15 minutes into our day. I'm just told that we cracked the 100 pound mark, which is pretty cool. Like, keep biting all day long. There could be some huge weights in this event. Another one. Coming to that corner. That's another three pounder. I love this lake. Three three. Awesome. That's okay. Three three, heck yeah. One at a time. We haven't even caught any of the ones that live in this lake. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody catches a seven pounder today. Another one. Back in. Yep. <laughs> They're getting bigger. Shaking, dude. Three, Three seven. seven. Got the best marshal. He's been working his butt off this morning. Forty-two bass we're at. That's awesome. That is. Nine twenty-seven. <laughs> we got an hour and twenty minutes of fishing yet. The first period. Uh, morning's been good today. We uh, started off and was bolt thirty-seven, and I'm actually really happy with the spot that we got. And uh, I figured there'd be some fish there, and there was. It was a fun time. We're right up there. Uh, looks like the guy in first place is <laughs> distancing distancing himself uh, a long ways from us right now. But um, it's getting pretty tight for second place right now. I think we're in third, and uh, we're gonna try to see if we can't get a couple more bites here in the first half. Just approaching the record. Sounds like a couple guys are cracking them. I think 62 pounds is in second. Actually, I have almost twice that, but uh, still a little nervous. Like I'm not catching them right now and other guys are, and it does not take long. Uh, there's a lot of fish in this lake. It's crazy how quick it can turn. Oh, I just missed that one. There it is. One thirteen. One, one legal bass away.
Well, I, I think Rasmussen's going to be tough to catch unless he doesn't fish the second half of the tournament. Then maybe he could be catch, caught. But uh, I'm just going to go out and do what I did this morning, and I'm going to run some of the same spots. Hopefully they reloaded. If they didn't reload, I got a couple of other areas I can check too. But, you know, it, it's, I'm just going to keep running that same stuff, and hopefully I catch some more fish. I mean, a couple of spots I fished right away this morning, and I, I was out of there before 8 o'clock. So those fish I haven't been back to. So those fish are going to be fresh by noon, I would think. So we're just going to go back at them and hopefully give them a snap a little bit again. So we had an uh, interesting first half, Bolt 37 actually got to a spot that I didn't think I was going to get. We ended up getting there and we hammered on them pretty good. Lost a couple big ones, but caught the two biggest fish of the tournament so far. So um, this lake is just exceeding everybody's expectations. It's just a blast. I mean, I, I having the best time ever out there fishing. This is the last regular season event and we're sitting in second place for points right now. So it's a close race. I got that on my mind. Um, thinking about the championship on Mille Lacs and uh, we're just gonna try to keep our head down and uh, see what we can do for the rest of this day. Just got done uh, the first period, heading back out for the second and we are at 130 pounds, seven ounces. So we need one pound to break the record, which I'm pretty sure we can do. And uh, Shane Ravelings in second with 62 pounds. So I've got a pretty good cushion going into uh, the second half here. But it's Pelican Lake. There's a lot of big bass and a lot of bass. So it's still anybody's game. Like I gotta go and catch them this afternoon too. I'm not. I'm not letting off, so there's too many good anglers in this that are right behind me. So we're going to go give her all we got in the second half, and uh, we'll see where the chips fall. Hopefully I get a W out of this one. This is it. Should be close, but I think he's a pound. I think we got the record. 1.2. He's not a giant one to break it with, but. 1.2? That's a win in my book. That was awesome. Congrats on the record, Josh. Thanks, man. I like to see. Oh. There you go. Five. Five. Three. That's what I like. Cast this back to back cast. I ate it when I was stuck in the rocks, you know. Beauty. Beautiful. Thanks. 
Double sentry mark. <laughs> two six. That just put me over 200 pounds of bass in less than six hours of fishing time. This is cool to hit the sentry mark, much less do it twice in a day. Think we can hit it three times? This unbelievable day I've gotten to sit and watch Adam all day. He broke the record already. We saw that earlier on Facebook. He broke 100 pounds. Well, he just did it again. He just jumped over 200 pounds. You got another one yet? No, I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know how many more are here, but... That's not good. But it's been magical to watch you fish today, but Adam's just been on a tear. It's it's getting silly now, giggling and having fun. There's but it's one thing, like I <clears throat> I haven't won anything yet today, but when you're fishing and it's your time, it's your time. Like everything goes right. I think I just finally lost a fish. Yes. I've been fishing clean. I got another one. <laughs> <laughs> He's got another one. But fishing anyway. Clean all day. Fighting, we're having fun, we're keeping Nolan busy back there. Adam's having an unbelievable day. He's still setting the record. He's hoping for 250. A little bit more, a couple more hours yet to fish. He thinks he can get to 250. I think he can too. We just broke 200 pounds on my last bass. Doing a quick interview with Paul. My stuff was initialed, so I made a cast while we're talking. Just hooked another one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I've been watching that all day, actually. Just seeing where the guys in front of me, where they are, how they're doing. Uh, it's it's something I'm definitely focused on today. Cause I, I know I ain't gonna win because Adam's got over 200 pounds and how there's no way to even catch up to that right now. You know, I need a school of five pounders and that ain't gonna happen. So now my goal is to get second and try to get as many points as possible for the angler of the year. And the right guys that need to stumble are kind of struggling today, stumbling a little bit. So they're kind of leaving the door open for me. So I'm hoping that I can keep pace and get a second place finish today. And kind of going into Mille Lacs, being second place for Angler of the Year. I got a good pattern going. I'm running a square bill on these islands and where it gets pretty grassy, when I can't throw a square bill, I'll, I'll flip a jig or a craw tube or something. But majority of my fish have come on a Bagley B2 today. And I got a few jig fish, but 80% of my fish, 90% of my fish have come on that, that Bagley B2. So I'm going to keep running that pattern. I'm going to run out of time before I run out of spots to fish, so that's good. I just got to keep hitting fresh water. Find some fresh fish. And keep putting weight on the board as much as I can. Preferably bigger than this. We were getting three pounders earlier. I don't know if this guy's gonna weigh even weigh a pound. One, one. One, two. One, two. <gasps> Weighs a pound. I didn't think he'd go. So, <laughs> we are 38 minutes left. Uh, of course, and deja vu for me. Here I am chasing Noah Schultz. I got 38 minutes left. It's a tight battle right now with Noah, myself, and you got Mr. Raveling who's creeping up behind and passing and then I'll pass him and it's just super, super tight. And I'm at 88. Noah pulled up to 101. I told you, that kid, I knew, I knew he had Another ace in the hole. Fish. Small. Oh yeah, he's a he's scorable, but he's small. 112? Okay. Thank you, baby. God. 
fish. Come on, buddy. Be a pound. Be a pound. Yes, it is. Oh, I love you. Thank you so much. 1.8. You've been so excited to see a one pound fish in your life. <laughs> God. But what's being lost here, fish. Feels pretty pikey, Jen. Nope. No, it's a bass. It's a good one, Jen. It's a good one. It's a good one. He's only got one hook left in him. Oh, I hate this. That's over four. That is over four, baby. Three eleven. Really? No kidding? No. I tried to it is what it is at this point, Jen. Right? Yeah. One hook. Come on. Oh my god. Dang it over there. That's over three. That's an over three. There you go. Four. Three, four. It's all right. He's a beaut. Seven minutes. Fish. Did I finally catch a brown fish? I think this is my first brownie of the day. Yeah. Literally, it's my first smallmouth of the day. We just broke the century mark. We did it. Oh. Fish, fish. No, it's green. It's green. Nice one. That's a nice one. That is a good one, Jen. Three, two. Three, two. Oh, God. Oh. So let's start with big bass today. A Yeti Roadie 24 and a tumbler. Big bass today should be no surprise to anyone. Matt Thompson. 5.12 pounds, 5 pounds, 12 ounces. Our major mover award today, a Wenzel from Wenzel's, $250. Goes to Zach Dostel, 22 pounds, 13 ounces. Move the money. Here we go. Move the money for this event. First place in $500, Matt Thompson, 16 pounds. 10 ounces. In third place, $3,500, a Mega 360 plus a $50 Thorns gift card for a total value of $4,750 with 103 pounds and 15 ounces, no shorts. Okay, in second, $6,000 and a Hummingbird Helix 10 and a $50 Thorns gift card for a total value of $7,250 with a hundred and five pounds and eight ounces, Big Bass Matt Thompson. We're gonna give away the moolah. We're gonna give away the moolah cash today, and the uh, the winner of the moolah cash today, the two thousand dollars. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Mike announce that, and uh, we'll go from there. You want him coming from behind here in the end of this deal. Beat out Arnie too coming into it. Thirty two pounds and fourteen ounces. So you are our Moolah Cash Cup champion. <laughs> All right, everybody knows what's coming next. First place, $12,000, a $50 Thorn gift card, a Young Yeti tumbler, and an and a entrance into the top 25 going down to Mille Lacs with 247 pounds and 10 ounces 
a new champion school record and a beatdown of this field, Adam Rasmussen. <laughs>